for johncastnews.com. Uh, John, in all your years, uh, decades really, do you ever think you were going to cover a story in which Lori Lightfoot uh, was being accused of being too tough on criminals? Um, Lori Lightfoot is a lightweight, but she's a prosecutor. As a mayor, as a leader, she's obviously failed and she's lost the city. Kim Fox, I don't know what to say. Mutual combat, if you're a mutual combatant, we, don't, we can't charge you. People were shot. People are being shot in the city in every neighborhood. And this is what she comes up with. It's really pathetic. Well, you, you, as you, as you point out, you've attacked Lightfoot before in your columns. Here's what she had to say about it. We cannot send a message that it's okay and you get a pass that you shoot up a residence in broad daylight, captured on film, and no consequences will happen for you. What's Fox's motivation here? Is it about the statistics? Is she? want to be seen is not hard on crime? Is it about not having a case that she thinks she might lose? What's her motivation in, in this? Fox's motivation is to um, get reelected and to take care of her, her uh, d fundraisers and donors. Lightfoot's motivation, she knows that she's going to have to go through Kim Fox's protector, the boss of Cook County politics, Democratic politics, Tony Preckwinkle. Hmm. And so uh, she knows it's going to be tough if she wants to run. And at the same time, the Obama uh, Rahm Emanuel machine is bringing forth a new candidate that they're rolling out daily with uh, gushing praise from the media. Huh. His name is Arnie, the white shadow Duncan. Oh, yeah, well, we'll. We'll talk about Arnie Duncan next time you come on. It's a great place to leave it. Amazing how Lori Lightfoot's tune has changed. John, thank you. We'll read about it in your next column. Thank you. She endorsed Fox, remember. Mm. She endorsed her. Yeah, good point. Let's talk to you soon. Thank you. This, I'm like...